Hey Stevie, so I looked over your question and um, your serial phrases on what you want to do and you're going to want to do something called the Fibonacci sequence. Um, so Fibonacci numbers are like integer sequence, so 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. So essentially what it is is um, each item is formed by adding the previous two. Um, and this is how it's defined because uh, you'll, you'll probably need to know this for the future. Um, now bear with me because it's going to be pretty hard because I don't have a proper way of showing you what it is. Um, but this is essentially it. Now each one of these brackets that you're going to see, just think of that as, uh, as a single big one. This is like the recursively of it. Um, it's, it's, uh, just try to get your bearings on, just picture this as one instead of three, um, but this is essentially the technique of it, right? So, I'm going to show you the implementation of it. I'm not actually going to open up Visual Studio right now, because there's really no need to, but, uh, so this is, your implementation would be... Okay, so this is going to be, um, excuse me, implementation, right? Uh, so this should this should make sense to you. Um, if it doesn't, then I guess I can do a more in-depth tutorial for it. But uh, this is going to be your basic implementation of it. And then for your test, it's going to be... Hopefully that's spelled right. Okay. Oh, and obviously this would be called fib up here. Should have told you that. That's why this random fib is here. Um, next. Trying to set it up so how it would look for you. Okay. So, this name fib is going to be... In, in, uh, in, excuse me, implementation of the Fibonacci sequence, and this is going to be like the simple test program. Um, so as you can see here, it's going to print the first 30 Fibonacci numbers to the console. Um, so if you need any more help, just uh, let me know.